So after building your real grade, a god Gundam, you might decide, hey, I think it's about time to dust off that old high grade from Psyche which came with the Master Gundam and give the god Gundam something to ride like he did at the end of the series. But just, y y y look at this, this wasn't even good when it came out. It looks okay. And then you realize it's just white with a couple of pieces of red, actually I think it's just, yeah, two pieces of red with a weird red wire for the, uh, um, the reins. You got like stickers for the who, stickers for the gray hair, stickers for the eyes. And it's in this position forever. Like you can move the head a little. You can actually pull it off and put the uh, the Master of Gundam's torso in there, which I don't think it ever did in the show. You could do it in Gundam Breaker 3, which I never found from Psyche Parts. I would have loved to have done that with another mobile suit, but I never found any. Um, and you've got the legs, which the front legs are decent in terms of their uh, posability. The hooves really can't. Like, they're stuck like that, so it's a weird trotting uh, shape. It's the back legs that really let the whole thing down, because this is they, they don't do anything. So it always needs this very uh, unfortunate located stand to keep it actually standing. This one's really loose here. I don't know what happened over the years. It's just ball jointed. Uh, but yet, yeah, it's really disappointing when you look at it. And then, here comes a third party company, Effect Wings, and just blow it out of the water with this amazing Funsaki. This thing, this is the Funsaki we deserve. Everything's plastic. There are no stickers. It is all 100% plastic. You've got a beam uh, rain instead of a wire. It does pop off uh, a little bit because it's, it's rather like um, stiff. So you kind of want to flex it a little bit, get into shape so that it won't like pop out of here. Um, I don't know, maybe the yellow should have been a little more yellow instead of orange. Eh, I had to glue one of these on. That's the only thing I did. Everything went together super well. Um, and undergated. They undergated a horse. They undergated a robot for a horse. And that's definitely not necessary, but I appreciate it. And in fact, I think the entire thing is 100% new. Compared to the old boy here. Uh, even the body... Uh, is different in terms of shape. I think it's thicker. Overall, I believe the new one is bigger uh, than this one. I don't know if I like the eyes better on the new one or not. I appreciate the fact that they're green and the fact that it can actually it can and will stand on its own uh, because like while you still I really wish they had done more with the head. This is all you can do. You can kind of wiggle it a little back and forth. I wish the actual uh, head has a, had a hinge here like where the red separates from the white. Instead of just at the neck. That would have been nice. At least maybe a little tilting. But the legs. Like everything you want is there. Never been a real. Understand. Had an understanding of how horse legs work. But hey I think that's how it works. And the back legs are also. Look. Oh my god. How did you do it? How did you do it? Bad I couldn't do it. How did you do it? Oh you mean you spent some money? And look at this. Tail thruster. <laughs> Posable tail thruster. Yes. Well, that, you know what would be awesome? It'll never happen. Could somebody engineer the actual uh, platform that Funseki turns into and make it turn into the horse? Is that a possibility? I'd love to see someone try it. Because it's just that pa platform the Master Gundam stands on, and then it turns into this. This thing transforms in the show. I don't know if they could ever actually do it, but it'd be great to see. Uh, now getting your God Gundam on Funseki, it does have a hole in the crotch, but it's like in the butt... Like, directly in the butt. And it's, there is a, a peg, just like the original, up here. You just have to yank out this piece, which is extremely uh, tough to do. Or extremely easy to do. Uh, this part's pretty hard to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to need something to pry that up with. Uh, so once you get the peg up and the middle piece back on, you, you kind of have to, if you want the real grade to be pegged, you kind of have to angle him a little bit to get the butt in there. If it was the normal high grades, which are the peg holes are directly in the bottom of the, of the uh, torso or the crotch. That'd be easy. But you could have them pulled onto the reins because these are actual reins instead of a wire. So there would be a little bit of uh, friction on there because these, once you bend this, like I said, it stays well enough so this should be able to hold them up. That is more added security. But they do give you something else which I, I think I know what it's for. This basically replaces the part I just took off to get the peg out. 
and I think, unfortunately, I'm, I'm rearranging my uh, display, like big display for all my kits, because I want them all out. And so I can't access anything that has wings, but I'm fairly certain you can put wings in here. And it's not Pegasus. Pegasus doesn't have a horn. Technically, this isn't a horse, it's a unicorn, because it has a horn. Uh, I, I can't remember what they're called when they have a horn and wings. There's a specific name for it. If anybody knows, post it below. But I'm pretty sure you could take, like, uh, the Wing Gundam EW wings or, like, the Freedom wings, and I'm, I feel that they would peg in there. I, I could be wrong, but why else would they be a thing? Why would this be included in the set if it wasn't actually, like, for or something specific like that? Like, what else would it do? I don't know. And the funny thing is, Bandai actually gave us, as I, actually, I didn't even know about this until uh, looking up for this video, an expansion set which has Foon Psyche, but it is still the old Foon Psyche. Stickers and um, like limited posability, just like it was with the Master Gundam. But you give like other effect parts with the God Gundam, but still, I don't need effect parts. If I have a horse, I can actually be a horse and not just a statue. So, that's great. But they did something else extra. You see, you get stickers with your God Gundam for like all the markings and all the all the shiny bits. Look what you get here. You get water slide decals for your real gray God Gundam. Water slide decals alone, if they're good, I don't know what these are like because I haven't tried them, are about eh, five to ten bucks depending on what it is. So I think for a kit that's about twenty-five bucks, um, you get a, a, a water slide decal sheet for the Gundam it's really made for, technically. Oh, but if you're wondering, well, how do I give it into like a rearing pose like the official one, which is static in that position? They give you a stand. I think this is a knockoff of a Tamashi base or whatever they're called. But it's got the screws. It's pretty stiff. You got the hole underneath. So boom. You got your horse on a stand and then you have your god Gundam riding it. Like this... For 25 bucks, I'm telling you, man, this thing, I love it. This is what I wish the original had been. I would have paid more for a Master Gundam and a fully posable from Psyche without stickers and proper colors. Good job, Effect Wings. You did it. I'm very happy.